Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Advanced Wars. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be taking on the Gold Combat, uh, Combe again. And let's see, take to the skies and capture cities before Combe's ground troops. Okay. So, if I'm supposed to be capturing cities, I know I've been using her a lot. Then I probably should be playing a Sammy. Right. You guys be, be- I understand if you guys are getting upset because I'm not switching characters. I promise you I will. But... It was like, oh, first mission, play a Sammy. Makes sense. Second mission, oh, we haven't seen Sammy that much, so let's play as her again. Third mission, oh, it's a Sammy-based mission. We should play as Sammy. That's what's happened. All right, look. A lot of cities to capture. On top of that, we need to secure properties to win this. Oh, shit. Stay positive, boys. At least we have an airport this time. An airport. Awesome. You're kidding, right? Airports let us deploy air units, plus damage planes and copters can go recover <laughs> HP there. But Kambe's base is right there. <laughs> Don't worry about that base, take a closer look at where it's located. That base deploys ground units, right? Well, it's just in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty useless there, wouldn't you say? Unless you get a support helicopter to come over, but yeah. Let's ignore that and capture other bases and cities. We need to capture 15 properties to win. Okay. Um, an airport sounds really interesting. I could probably use something to take on the bomber, like a fighter. Which one hits bomber the most? A battlecopter. Oh, that's so cool. A transport helicopter. That's going to help out too. Well, I have anti-air right now to help take out bombers. Um, he has his own freaking battlecopters, which look way more interesting, honestly. Is that his fighters? Oh, his fighters are so cool. I'm not even going to lie. I lo honestly, Kambi's troops are so cool. I'm not going to lie. They are some of the best troops I've ever seen. We're going to start capturing bases. All right, yep. It'll take us a second, but we'll get it done. Then we're going to need to put our helicopter somewhere safe. Or transport, right? Yeah, put this somewhere safe. Then Missile Man, he's not in range. You need to help take out the bomber, because it's going to be a huge threat to us. Or I could go risky as hell and go after a battle helicopter since he can't fight back. But he has his own fighter in range if I go that aggressive, so... Rather than going that aggressive... Well, actually, how far could this thing go? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, I'm out of its range. Um, but we know that Hanbei's troops are just better than ours, so we gotta be careful. We're gonna go after the bomber, just nice and simple. There we go. We're letting our ground troops capture the cities. Um, with what little points we have, we're gonna get um, an infantry unit. And then we're going to set up our missile unit. It can't move that much yet, but it's fine. Battle helicopter should be out of range of their battle helicopter. So right around here should be fine. Anti-air unit needs to protect our new troops from the bomber. So let's hope that works. And then missile unit needs to get closer to where the enemy's probably going to be. I need to get into the trees. All right. That should be fine for now. Seems a little weird. Seems like we're really undermanned here and that he's way overmanned, but... And he's got a lot more cities he can capture than we can. You're gonna put, deploy a mountain of troops? I thought your troops cost more, though. I thought that's my only advantage against Kambe, is that his troops cost more. Like, everything he does costs more, because he puts so much investments into his troops, which is a really nice thing. Don't get me wrong, I respect the hell out of that. I'm just surprised. Alright, Bomber didn't get to us. We, were, we body blocked him. And the transport got him. Oh, wow. He's transporting a lot of troops really quickly. I'm not going to lie. That's a very impressive style right there. Now, anti-air has no range. So this is the only thing I have to be afraid of, and it can't reach me. So I can take on Battle Helicopter without being in the range of any other troops. Um, that guy's out of my range, but my fighter could turn around and just take out the bomber once and for all. Or, because that fighter is in range, and the only thing that can hit it is my fighter, we try to damage it first before it gets to us. However, I don't mind if the fighter comes over here because then it's in range of my attacks. So I'm actually going to move over here. We're going to try and pull his fighter towards us so we can beat it with our uh, air anti-air troops. Even if it is a little risky. And we still have to think about that battle, he battle helicopter over there. But there's nothing that can hit my troop other than the, his battle helicopter. Which means the, posi the positive thing here is we get first attack. The negative thing is his troops are just better than mine. So that's a problem. But we're going to start working on his battle helicopter. Hopefully by doing damage first, we can knock out enough troops. Yes, where we have less damage. But he still did a lot of damage with less troops, so we got to be very careful. 
Uh, capture these cities just so we can start building up points. We need to get more transport stuff, and that'll be very important. So let's go ahead and get some transport in over here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get this man to capture this city. I know that fighter could be a threat to us, but it's fine. You want? I want you in the trees. You're the most important thing. Uh, you, sir, just stay where you are. If the fighter comes after you, it sucks, but it's better for us in the end. Um, artillery doesn't help us here. What does help us here would be... I would think maybe... Shit, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm trying to make a... I'm trying to think about what would actually help me out here. He can't reach us with most of this. Just transport to get him around to capture more cities, which is something we need to be doing. So I do need more troops. And mech troops are the strongest troops I have. So I'm going to go with a little costly mech troop. I understand it's a little costly. We're going to see just how far that fighter can go. Um, he can hit my new mech troop, but he won't be able to hit my transport helicopter, who is going to be taking the mech troop over there. Um... And then I have my anti-air and my other stuff ready to defend my base. So, it's a little risky right now, but we're going to go ahead and fight him. Also, we got to watch out for his morale boost, so just keep a look on that. Okay, he's already capturing lots of cities. He's doing a great job, i got to admit. I need to move a little faster. Maybe capture me an airport. I see an airport that's capturable, but uh, that only works after I've taken over the air, which means I need to take out the helicopter, and I need to take out... Um, oh! Oh! Helicopter went after my missile unit, which sucks for me, but since it's easy to heal the missile unit, it's actually okay with... Yeah, see, it didn't even do anything. I'm rather that my helicopter doesn't take damage. His jet versus my jet is something I was afraid of, but my missile unit might be able to reach his jets because he had to come all the way over here. And that's kind of what the plan was. It's not a guarantee that I'll reach him, but it's, it's what we wanted. Alright, uh, regular... I did not realize a regular infantry would do so much to my helicopters that I'd lose one. That was not even in my plan of risks. Okay, whoa, he's starting to spawn some more stuff there. I should have should have stopped that from happening. Okay, well, I can actually buff up my transport and stuff this turn. I got APC, which is useless on that island, so not something I should even think about. This can hit the jets, which is exactly what we wanted. Somehow those jets are so tanky that it does not matter. The jets are a bigger threat than the battle helicopter still, but I am surprised. That they are that tanky. Anti-air unit. It could have hit this guy if I was willing to move. I wasn't. Um, battle helicopter. Yeah, thanks to them taking out one of my helicopters, it actually is a problem. I need to go back and heal, which is not exactly the easiest thing to do. Now, I could send my jets after the battle helicopter because they can't retaliate against jet. But then their fighter can go in. You know what? My jets are done. It's a shame my jets are done. It's just, it's just what happens, okay? It's just what happens. I'm going to accept the death of my jet, uh, but we're going to use it to help take out the helicopter since uh, the enemy jet will still be in range of rockets if he goes after any of my current troops. So helicopter, go over here, and shit. I thought it'd be enough. I thought it would be enough. Losing that one helicopter really mattered. Yep, it really mattered. Okay. I don't have any more ranged troops that can take him. Too bad anti-air can't hit even one extra distance away, but... That's okay. We'll think of something else. We have an airport. We could buy another battle helicopter or another transport helicopter. I'm starting to think transport might be a little more useful. Um, even though I don't have air superiority, I might lose it right now. Or he's going to back off. And if he backs off, then I will have air superiority. So let's go ahead and be a little risky. Now transport, how far can you? Yep. Okay. We're going to be a little risky. We're going to go ahead and send this guy over here. We're going to load him. Now, the reason this is risky is because the jet could just decide to come upstairs and uh, attack my guys over here, and I have no way of retaliating. But I want to start capturing cities up there. So I'm just going to trust my troops to be strong. Because that one helicopter isn't going to do much. It might even retreat if I'm lucky. And then I'm going to send uh, this. I'm going to build in my airport another uh, transport helicopter because I can't do it with just one. And then I'm going to protect the main base, which doesn't matter. I just want to have someone there. And then I need I need to save up money. I do need to save up money. So we're just going to hold position um, and just realize that their jet could become a threat to us. Um, yeah, let's just have that. Our, our, their jet could become a threat to us. We're fine. Our missile unit is fine. I'll, I'll put it in. I should have put it in a healing. Oh, no, because I needed to attack. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll think about it. Right now, he has nothing, nothing that can come get me. Your number... Wait, you're the one with numbers, not me. Oh, crap. He got morale boost already. But the only thing that can reach me are two vehicles. So that morale boost is only boosting two. 
One that only has one guy and one that only has like two guys, which is fine. Granted, I still don't know how strong he is. So maybe even with just those small numbers, he has what he needs. He's definitely capturing cities at a much higher pace than me, which is expected since he had way more troops than I did um, to start. So it's okay. Helicopter went after my transport, which is fine because well, how much could it really do with one HP? It actually did a full damage, uh, probably because of the morale boost now that I think about it. That was a little surprising. Oh my god. Okay, well, this guy truly understands what is the most important thing in this battle. He almost takes out my transport with just two of the weakest troops I've ever seen. Which shouldn't be possible, but it is. Alright, he's just... I, like, that base is fun. If he wants to keep making troops there, until a transport helicopter gets over there, it's useless. And once it does, I have a missile unit ready to take it out. Which, yes, I need to heal it, but I will later. I will heal my missile unit later. I didn't expect it to take damage in the first place. All right, so you're done for. We got rid of the jets, which means we now have air superiority, which means now I could start going after some stuff, which means that I'm ready to use my power. Now it's my All right, because I want to get myself a new heli uh, a new uh, you know airport. So we're gonna go ahead and double time this, so we can start moving a little bit more. Uh, does it not do air transport vehicles? Damn, I thought it would do air transport. I was wrong. Um, let's go ahead, anti-air unit. You need to destroy this unit right here. Because that helicopter unit is still problematic if it could do a full damage to us. Maybe it's only with a morale boost, but still. I want to just assume that I'm in danger, so. There we go. We're going to transport uh, you. And can I transport two people? I cannot. Just wanted to check. Uh, then get us to the island, yes. Um, I don't even need to land on the island as long as we get our troop. Oh, I can't unload onto the island. Okay. Well, maybe I will next time. That's fine. Uh, I wanted to capture the heliport anyway, so we're going to use you to capture this base. I know we can't capture it in one go, that'd be amazing, but we can't. And then you come back to get more troops to help out, which uh, they can't load just yet, but they will soon. And that is fine by me, which I'm sad that this one couldn't do it. Now, while hit all the enemy is buffed, I don't exactly want to go after them. I actually want to heal. So I'm going to use my time to heal my fighter jet, um, and then my helicopter will heal up here. We're going to let our helicopter stay up here. Getting it ready, getting it in a position where it can help out anybody in case something unexpected happens. But this is still a race to 15 buildings, and he has 15 in sight. So I have to actually go invade his space quicker than I think. The only thing I have advantage of is his troops are still in movement, so they can't all capture. Because if you see, he only needs to capture th uh, four more buildings, and he has four more on his side of the map. So I actually need to go capture that top side of the map, where he only has a single tank. That is my only advantage right there. And the only way I could do that is if I get myself another helicopter, or a heliport soon. Which will not be happening just as quickly as I wish, but it will happen eventually. So this guy's over there doing his job, he'll be there to defend. Um, you are going to fall back and heal. I know the transport helicopters are on the way, but fall back and heal. Anti-air, I don't know if you could be low. How much can these load? I have forgotten, there's no information button is there. Oh, what? Uh, movement terrain, move 7, yeah. Can carry movement range and carry foot soldiers. Oh, okay, just carry foot soldiers. That's fine. Uh, oh, they have to be on land. Okay, so they can't jump into the sea. Something I'm learning at a very horrible time. Good, good. Glad I'm learning this. Um, well, if that's the case, then just move over here since you can only get one guy. And then this guy will just jump in there. Yeah, load it. And then we'll get him into range soon. This guy is going to do his job. That transport helicopter it needs time, and I can build more troops. What I need is an airport, though, because I need to get up here and start capturing before problems start. Because down here is too dangerous. They got too much stuff down there, and down here, um, they have too much stuff as well. And the island is this island's less protected. There's nowhere to build up there, so they don't have as many advantages. Um, I also need my helicopter to start healing or to start going in to stop them from capturing. But even that guy. Can These guys do so much damage, they can beat a helicopter. Yes, it's a damaged helicopter, but the fact that they can beat it is scary. Alright, I'm going to actually move my jet forward then, because we need our, we need to start stop them from capturing a third base up there. Once we kill this guy off, we're good. So, I could hit him just to weaken him, but it would just destroy my helicopter most likely. Yeah, it's fine. I just don't want him... I, I, the problem is he'll heal. Eh, it's fine. Let's just see how much he can do back to us. I want to know the damage difference. He could still destroy one of my helicopters. He's that strong. Alright, so the jet's going to have to do everything because he can't retaliate against the jet. Well, at least the helicopter let me know what he can do to me. 
And then that ground troop, I don't like that he's still there, actually, but I don't have the ability to build... Maybe another transport helicopter. Yeah, let's get our transport helicopter ready to go. And then let's move you in range of that helicopter before we do anything. Just because I need more. I need more. I, I don't have enough. This guy is actually getting close to the point where he could uh, defeat me. Also, how much could a tank do to a helicopter? I know his troops are buffed, but I just want to know. So he's already going to capture that top city, which is what I'm trying to stop. And the jet may not be in range yet. Let's see how much tank does. I'm curious. How much does a tank do? It didn't take out one of my guys, but the fact that it can even hit my helicopter sucks for me. My jet is not yet in range. It has to get over there in time. They can capture all the cities in the world as long as they don't capture that top city. Alright, jet, how far can you truly fly? Because I need you to really go out there. Yes, okay. They can't... Oh, what? Oh, jets can't hit regular troops. Well, that's good. It's obviously been too long for me to understand this stuff. Alright, well... As great as this is, I need to start capturing an airport, and I need to get more troops, so... You... We need to land some troops over there to capture something, so... You just get over there, and then I need to find something that can actually take out the tank unit. Ah, what can take out the tank unit? Shit. I don't have anywhere to build. Uh, transport helicopter just is for troops. What? What's the one that transports people? Oh, uh, it transports vehicles. Whatever it is, we don't have an option to get it, so... Not our problem. Alright, we're gonna wait here. Just be patient. These guys are ready. What do I have in the builder? Do I have anything... The only thing I could build is more battle helicopters to try and stop him, but even if I did, it would take too long. So my jets is only use is get over here, attack this guy, and just weaken the transport before they get into other areas. Even though they are already where they want to be. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I should build a bomber. A bomber would actually hit some people. That, that's, uh, that would do something at least. This transport helicopter has no troops on it. Uh, all my helicopters are full right now. And this guy up here is capturing these cities for me, even though I might need them. I might need them not to capture those cities just yet. I could always do that later. Shit, I could always do that later. Let's get up here. I need him, I need him on the ground. I need him fighting, because they're going to capture this uh, city right now, and I can't stop. Shit, I can't stop him. We have to capture a city. It's all about capturing a city now. We literally just have to capture a city up there. One of the enemy cities has to be captured before shit hits the fan. Next time, if I have to redo this mission, next time I'm rushing the top sign. I'm, I'm going to rush top. Even though I know he has battle helicopters and jets, I'm going to rush top. I may have taken too much time. Because look, all he has to do is capture this city and he wins. Because this one is done and this one's done. And the best I could do is body block it, but he has air to stop me. He has anti-air to stop me. Yep. Yep, this is shit. <laughs> this is absolute shit. This situation, at least. Even with my CEO power, I wouldn't be able to stop this. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll think of something else. We already know we're in the danger zone. I know that infantry can make it to the place that we don't want to see them make it to already. Yep. Next turn, I lose. Just automatically. We're about to lose our last helicopter, which is understandable. And I don't have enough time to capture before he does. Okay, wait, no. I also need someone to go out there and hit that guy, which I don't have anyone that can do that. Yep. Yep. All right. It's a loss. It's a loss. There's absolutely no way to come back from this with my current troops. Because I, I would need someone to be able to hit this guy. I have no air troops left that can do it. Jets can't hit him. My helicopter got weakened super early. Yeah, it's a loss. Well, shit. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to take the L. I can't uh, convince him to attack my troops, obviously. I can't even land my troops over there because now I realize you can't be on the sea and then land your troops on the on the ground. Yeah, that, that sucks too. Alright, well, capture this airport, which means I can't stop body blocking the airport. Um, there's nothing that... Well, maybe a bomber. Oh, I'm already dead. Might as well use a bomber later. Yeah, no, it's over. I'm just going to end my turn. Let this one be a loss. Next time, I have to play more aggressively because he has 15 cities to capture. I do not. Yeah. Sammy's comments were dead on. Yeah, don't rush. The well, actually, rushing was part of the deal. No, lady, rushing was part of the deal. We have to rush. But either way, I'll see you guys next.